Greetings all. This is a quick tutorial on how to create a Java file in um, in Java and how to run it. So let's just quickly fire up a new project. Let's call it Java Tutorial, and also we got the same name over there. Okay, and uh, we are all set now. Let's to make this interesting. Let's quickly create a resource file. Let's resource directory and let's create a new file called this text file and mark this as resource root there we go oh, looking good so far and let's go and type out something anything interesting and we need to use a standard greeting as usual because hey we are all programmers and we go and create our main or our um, entry point into the program new main there we go create a constructor now let's quickly go and read that file so uh, let's go and get the resource get resources root and no oh, needs a forward slash text file and we need the URI as well there we go looking good so far uh, yes, uh, let's go and throw this into a new file. File is equal to new file. And oh, something is missing over there. Oh, apparently not. Okay, great. We've got a new file now. Let's use a scanner and to read this file quickly. New scanner. And file. There we go. Oh, what's it complaining about? No problem at all. Okay, and let's go and read the whole line. What's it? Next line? Yes. And put that in there. And let's go and print out something. Done. And what if, in the case of an error, we just print out failed? Wonderful. Now, let's quickly go and run this lovely little application. We should see Hello World. There we go. Looking good. Now, we've created our awesome application. Now, let's quickly go and create a uh, artifact. Now, this artifact, it is basically what Java will use to run your application. It's a little, see it as a little executable. So, we can go and create an executable in a couple, to get there, we can use a couple of ways. You can click on here and go to project uh, settings, module settings, or you can press F4, or if you can go to project structure. Then we go all the way down the left hand side, we go down to artifacts and go and create, click on this all plus and create a new jar file. This jar file we select them from modules with dependencies. And we see, okay, we've got our lovely little module over here. And let's go and select our main class. Now, sometimes this main class doesn't appear. Uh, if that is the case, don't stress about it. Um, just go to, just browse to it. So go to Java Tutorials, Source, and see this little icon right over there? A little play icon, uh, play button, green play button. Click on that one and select OK. And then you should be all sorted. And um, OK, so we should be good to go. And it automatically generates all of this good stuff for us. And this is a location of where the jar file will be when we created it. So go and click apply and or OK, whichever is your preference. And we go and build our artifacts. And there we go, jar tutorial, build. And there we go, we see something happened down there. And build completed successfully. Wonderful. Now we should find that in this path. Uh, jar tutorial out artifacts java tutorial dot jar so that's out artifacts java tutorial there we go and you can use you can run that by typing java jar and uh, jar tutorial dot jar there we go so run that in command prompt and you should be good to go